hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Halima if you're new to my channel welcome if you're not new welcome come on in grab your seat take a seat and let's basically dive into today's tutorial okay so today's tutorial is all about a glam festive Christmas look as you guys can see I decided to create this dynamic look because after all I got to go with something nice trendy Christmas festive glam look that you can basically wear it all day during the day and then maybe if you've got a night out you can still wear that to go to your night out okay so guys guys so this is the look it's beautiful very settled very simple to create okay so yeah definitely keep on watching hi guys so yeah as today's look is all about the festive um, holiday Christmas look so um, I've decided to just dive in straight into the video um, and uh, the tutorial to just give you guys the breakdown of what products I'm going to be using okay so first of all I'm just going to start by prepping my skin and then once I finish I'm just going to go ahead and um, do my eyebrow and then we take it on from there yeah so you guys stick around let's get on with the tutorial without any further ado let's get on with it okay so first of all I'm going to basically spray my face and um, I always like to spray my skin with my um, L'Oreal Paris um, face setting spray so I'm gonna spray my face with it before I go on with the, the actual look okay so oh that feels really nice and cool especially when you know I've had I've been indoors all day so my face feels really nice and warm okay so once that is done I'll leave it to sink in for a little bit then I'm gonna go in with my um Maybelline you know face studio primer so I'm gonna just square a bit into my hand and um get it going and spread it in blend it in <laughs> okay so this is it here so I'm just gonna go and apply that okay I'm gonna quickly do my eyebrow so I always like to brush my eyebrow up before I do anything because you, you want to get the hair all flip up nicely okay the body shop lush hero and um, if I bring it closer to the camera so that's what it is so I'm just gonna use that it's like it's a mascara but obviously I'm just gonna use it to brush my eyebrow up a little bit you know it's defined it hi guys I've gone behind the scene to quickly do my eyebrow to get that out of the way okay so we can concentrate on the main important things of the the, this basic makeup tutorial or the festive makeup and um, Christmas tutorial look okay so just bear with me I'm just gonna do my eyeshadow and then we'll take it from there okay so before I do that I've already you know based my face and done all that major the main steps already so I'm just going to basically just put some primer you know by my eyeshadow you know the eyelid Okay, so the primer that I'm using is Face Infinity. I've used this in most of my videos. So I'm just gonna prime my eyelid area. Okay, and do it on this side as well. So that the base will be like that would do. And then we're gonna go on with the eyeshadow. Okay, so the eyeshadow that I, I'm using today is basically from my Sephora eyeshadow palette. Um, I've used that in most of my videos that I've done. I've used this palette, so I'm going to bring it up. It's quite a big one, so it's this one here, right? So that's the one I'm using, and I'm going for, because it's the festive, um, obviously, Christmas look and it's glammed so i'm just gonna go with like a sort of a greenish i don't know if, if i bring it up here you guys can see what i'm aiming for so basically i'm going for that green down here this green yeah can you guys see it and then i'm gonna mix it up with this 
too dark green down here so that's what I'm gonna do okay so just to give it that kind of like strong you know dark green and so on and so forth okay so I'm gonna use the same fluffy black brush before I do that I'm gonna put you know a um, transition color and just around my lead my eyelid area then I'm gonna follow up with the actual color that I'm aiming for okay so just gonna go with just a nice brown transition color just to base around the lid area you know so that when I put the eyeshadow it pops up very well I love this transition color it's so nice and soft sorry I'm just gonna look in the mirror down here to make sure that I'm doing the right thing I don't like I said pop nicely when you put the actual color it's really good it gives a good reflection actually so it's always advisable to use a transition color before you actually put your um, eyeshadow on so it's a nice one to it's a nice um, little tip okay guys so I've done that I've based it okay and now I'm actually going to go in with the color that I'm aiming for the festive color that I was aiming for okay which is like a green dark green you know and so on so um, just going with this that first so I'm gonna go with the dark green first and then I'm gonna use the the lighter um, sort of you know lemonish kind of green to blend it in with okay so all right let's go so I'm gonna just start from here the you know the edge just at the edge here the corner of my eye And I'm gonna just blend it in, move it forward. Can you guys see the difference? See the, the green, how it's reflecting together already? So the idea is just to tap it on, you know, tap as much colour as you can on it to give it, you know, that vibrant, you know, green. I'm going to start with the second eye so that we can get things speeding up. So I'm just using the darker green at the, you know, the corner of my eye. I don't want it penetrating so high, I just want to stay in here and then just move the brush move the brush gently forward it's done so now I'm just going to take another brush I was using before for the lighter green okay so it's this one here with a square end so I'm just going to take the lighter green and I'm going to pat that on colors are coming along really nicely I'm really impressed it's coming up with a nice green I love this green and let's focus on that and so once I've done with the eyeshadow on both eyes I'm gonna put eyeliner and I'm using collection fast stroke eyeliner okay that's the one I'm using so just gonna take a bit of it and um, get my little mirror so I can put that on okay
so guys i've gone behind the scenes to put my lashes on as you can see they're looking very sexy <laughs> so now we're going to do the foundation Ta -da! okay so the foundation that i guess i'm using today i guess you guys know what it is can you have a guess please do if you do have a guess i'll buy you guys you guys a lolly okay so ta -da! Painting. <laughs> So that's what I've been using uh, for my face. So I've gone off, you know, I've done all the base and I've put my primer and my setting spray and all that stuff. I've done all that. So basically, I'm just going to dive in straight into the, you know, the look. So I always like to slightly wet my um, beauty blender because it's nice when it's a bit wet. It just helps the. Um, foundation set properly onto the skin so I'm just gonna use it so by the way these are echo um echo tool um beauty blender all right it's supposed to be good so i'm gonna try it today um so yeah that's what it is so i'm just going to sweat the foundation onto my skin some on my forehead side my chin and a little bit onto the actual um beauty blender so that's it guys so we're just gonna gently tap that on onto the skin i really like this beauty beauty blender um i've been using since i started um you know my makeup tutorial i've been using um what is it called real techniques so these are actually different they're actually nice it feels really um bouncy but I, i'm so used to my real techniques but these these got sent to me by the echo tool like a couple like days ago so i thought let me just give it a try and see how it feels on the skin i like it i like how it's kind of like you know the edge of it how is the shape of it it's really good to get to the side you know like when you put in foundation especially that around the lips uh corners as you say i think it's good and then when you get here around the eye area i think it's, it's good for that the way they've shaped it up it's good for that so yeah i think i like it in the sense that they have different dimension to it and the shape of it is really good Okay. I always love. I did um, a tutorial recently or review, I should say, about Fenty Foundation. Have you guys watched it yet? Or oh, you should go and watch it because it's really good. Um, it's regarding them. Um, Fenteen, you know, review the first time I used it, my impression of it. Um, I love it, I love it. I'm not a Fenteen girl, I'm addicted to Fenteen. <laughs> I am addicted to it, so yeah, I did use it and it was really nice. Um, I had, um, I thought, why not? Because um, I always wanted to try Fenteen, and um, I never actually got the time to like buy the foundation and use it so i thought why not just take the opportunity to just give it out because you know i took up some time off to off from doing tutorials and stuff so i thought why not just try something new while i'm aiming to get back into you know into um the video making again so yeah buying it was really good um so it was good experience you guys should definitely watch watch that tutorial because you're gonna like it i loved it and a lot had a good response from people so yeah it's worth watching okay guys so well, i've done the, the foundation now it's all on okay and i like the how it feels and how it looks okay so now I am going to go ahead and just basically put a concealer okay so as you guys can know my one and only face infinity by 
Max Factor, yeah, face, face Infinity All Day Flawless Concealer. So that's what I'm aiming to use today, just to go over the look. I don't even think I need a concealer because this foundation get a, it gives a good coverage, but you know, a bit of everything does make a difference. So just let, let me just, you know, just place some around here. I'm not gonna go mud on it, just a little bit. And my nose. And some around here as well. I really have a deep set under eye. I don't know if you guys have noticed. I really do. Um, I always get people ask me, oh my God, are you, you looking tired? Are you not? It's like it, you look like you've not had any sleep and all that stuff. I'm like. That's how it is. It's, I think it's genetics. Even my dad and my mom, they have that deep set under eye. So I always get people asking me, have you, you've not been sleeping, you look tired and all that stuff. And I find that, I find that really rude, you know, but I don't take it personally anyway. I really don't. Because if I do, I'm really gonna get mad at them. <laughs> but anyway, um, so that is on so I'm just gonna go over with the same beauty blender just to blend that in I really like this um, beauty blender because you can get right under the corner of the eyelid especially the waterline it's really good for that actually I really like it I'm glad they sent me this to try Because even though I was using my own beauty blender for my um, real techniques, it's, it has got that shape as well. But I just love how this one is specifically made, you know, to go like around good corners and stuff like that. So yeah, and apparently this is good for vegan as well. Okay. The aim of the the concealer because you want a light when the light hits your face you want the reflection you know just do everything just to mimic you know so as you can see you always need to brush it you know like tap it up so that you get that reflection and then okay guys and so I'm going to do the contour okay so the contour that I'm using is basically it's Maybelline Superstay it's contour stick that's the one so that's the one I'm aiming to use I have a little brush at the end but I don't like using it so I'm just gonna use my own brush to get it on to my skin okay so just gonna take a little bit of it okay and I'm just gonna basically define my nose yeah I don't really need to do much to my nose because I really have this beautiful nose. I remember people used, used to say to me, oh my God, have you had a nose job done and stuff like that? It's my natural nose. I've not had any work done to my nose, to be honest with you guys. That's how my nose is naturally formed. So I'm quite lucky, to be honest with you. So that's it. I'm not, I've got, um, I'm going to use a different contour for my forehead and my jawline which is the glow by revolution so i'm going to use that but my nose i just wanted to use that and just to see the differences okay guys so i'm just gonna blend that in okay so i'm gonna take a little brush and i'm just gonna blend that in okay guys
Let's see how I define my nose already. Okay guys, so now that I've put the bake on, I'm just going to use this little that detail brush that I used before, Real Techniques, just to make sure everything is um, supposed is to, you know, to be where it's supposed to be. Um, here. Okay, so now I'm just going to go in with my the contour that I want to use. So the one I want to use, um, which is what the contour powder I should say is basically um actually before i do that i'm just gonna buff my face a little bit with um x1 okay just gonna buff my face with it a little bit and then i'll go on with the to finish it with the Re revolution contour so just taking a bit of it guys just buff everywhere so this brush is um a curved rt2426 by real techniques it's really nice I love how it feels on the skin just basically just making sure everything is blending in concentrate on the edges you know the jawline forehead use my revolution glow which i've already showed you guys what it is so i'm gonna use that to you know finish the rest of the contour so i'm basically gonna take another detail brush um if i can find it so guys just bear with me so another real techniques detail brush and this is really nice so the color that i'm using is, so is this uh, revolution splendor ultra matte bronzer so that's the bronzer i'm using in this medium color okay so i love it you guys you need you need to get your hands on this bronzer you guys need to get your hands on this bronzer because it's heaven on earth literally okay so i'm gonna put some around my jawline just to mimic you know give me that you know just minimize and then some here around as well and then define my cheeks Can you guys see how you just give me that pop that's you know how it pop my my cheeks immediately so just gonna brush it up to give me that shadow see the difference so it just brace ideally is to brush it up to lift up your cheekbones to give you that definition you know when you when the light hits it and then I'm going to do the same to this side. So just take it for the from this corner of your ears and just work it. And then once you define the line, then you just basically make sure you you know push it up. I put too much. So it basically just defined the cheekbones. Okay, it's looking really pretty. I'm liking it. And then I'm gonna do my forehead. Let me just fix my my headband. So because I've got a big massive forehead, I always like to mimic the airline. So just push it down a little bit. You guys see how it makes my face a bit more smaller.
I really love this bronzer honestly it's my favorite ladies and gentlemen you guys need to get your hands on this bronzer okay and I'm just gonna put a little bit around the nose area as well just to give me a bit more definition Yeah, I really love that. I love the look. I love the look. Right, guys. So, I'm just basically just going to take my Kabuki brush and I'm just going to dump a bit inside my powder, the X1. And I'm just going to basically just tap it in on my face. Just making sure everything is blending and taking some of the you know the edges because I don't want it to the edges so show much too much of it like do you know what I mean like yeah just want everything to be well compact okay so that is done okay so now I am going to take my highlighter and the highlighter that I'm used in is basically ta -da, Fenty that's the one I'm using and this particular one is called ginger binge and is um what color yeah and it's killer what and it's freestyle yeah that's the one I love it I'll show you guys what it looks like that's the color of it it's beautiful check that color out so that's the one so I'm taking a little actually let me just take this um, so this brush that I'm using is called Cheeks. Okay, so I'm just going to use that just to, to, you know, just to highlight my cheeks and just blend in that bronzer that I just used just to pop up my, you know, cheek area. And the thing that I love so much about this um, Fenty um, Freestyle highlighter you can use it for basically everything you can use it for your um highlight as a highlighter you can use it on your lips you can use it on your skin basically freestyle use it for everything anything to do with makeup <laughs> you know it's really good i just love it so i'm just working a bit of that onto my cheek area you know just help you know define the cheeks and working with the bronzer as you guys can see see how that reflection yeah that's what I'm looking for and I'm just gonna put some here around my chin and some on my nose oh, look how beautiful that color is it's just so nice to get onto the skin it just like it melts into the skin beautiful one thing I love about Rihanna's makeup Fenton is the quality is amazing you know it's just like it is really work she really did well to inventing Fenton yeah worth it because as soon as the makeup hits your skin it feels like it just blend into your complexion it just smooths your complexion I love it and then I'm just gonna put it somewhere around here. Yeah, see how that reflection that gives me. I just love this makeup. I love this makeup. I love this makeup. <laughs> I'm in a happy mood, I don't really know why. <gasps> Cause it's like, festive look and it's you know Christmas is just reaching around the corner I think we've got like is it like a week and a half to go before Christmas come the Christmas that we thought is never gonna come because COVID is literally like stop everything stop the world from moving you know for like for the past nine months we've been living in darkness so everybody thought oh my god Christmas is never gonna come but it's eventually here literally like it's here so you need a festive look and this look is definitely a festive look to have 
to you know to enjoy the Christmas with it's, you want to wake up Christmas morning and basically you do a glass of wine and make sure you do your makeup and do you know just enjoy basically just go with the madness because COVID has really restricted us from doing anything that contain fun so yeah definitely Christmas Day you guys should let your hair down do your festive look go with this look have your green shadow on and you just just let loose <laughs> let loose guys anyway okay so guys now I'm done with this I'm just basically going quickly gonna put some of this green under my eye just to like give my eye that beautiful sexy look okay so i'm gonna take another little detail brush and um we get that going okay so you guys just bear with me and find the detail brush that i used before that little one there eyeshadow brush so because i used two colors i used like a darker greeny greenish like off black off green kind of color and then i'm gonna mix it up with the other um lighter green just to give it that vibrant dark beautiful look okay guys so if i come close to the camera i'm just gonna work it under my waterline just blend that in gently i'm just gonna blend that in just focusing on the waterline okay The aim, the aim of it is just to make sure everything, you know, blends and give you, give your eye that kind of look. And with this look, you can basically go. Obviously, I don't know whether they're gonna be like uh, bars and things like that open on Christmas Day. I'm not sure, probably. But if there's an, if somewhere you wanted to go, you can take this look. You know, um, it's basically bold enough to be. To, you know to carry you throughout the day so you can have this on the Christmas day and then you can you know expand it onto the night time just just need to touch up and then that's it okay so I just want to give it that you know that strong definition and I'm gonna take a bit of the lighter version and then just blend that in Okay, you see how that different gives me that different look and then just a little bit at the edge a little bit of the lighter green that you may have and this work around that in the inner corner of your eye just put a little bit there just to give you that ref you know reflection yeah okay so this side is done I'm now gonna move on to the other side Yeah, that's it. That's all I, I want. How that's how I want it to be. So I am now going to take another big brush and just get rid of the excess. I'm just gonna take a bit of a powder just to get rid of that excess. Um, you know, the eyeshadow that dropped down here. So this is just a detail brush. Make sure everything is blending. I know with them um, with because of the COVID aspect saying and the Christmas um rules, because we're still in tier three, um so individuals have to basically Spend the Christmas with their bubble um, so the bubble is basically a people like your family members or the people that you basically been spending time with and um, for the past God knows how many days and months you've been self isolating shedding and quarantine and stuff like that so if for the past nine months you've been with this specific people that's what we called 
bubble you know so you basically stay with these people or you spend time with them during that christmas period and we're not allowed to move from one house to another and spend time in a different bubble so you've got to stay with the same people that you are with you know so in a sense make it makes sense i think i like that um rules um because you've really spent time with them and if you see if there's any chances of you passing covid around you're already among those people instead of moving from one house to the other and then passing and spreading the covid so i like the strategy i really respect that strategy the government implemented okay guys so now i'm going to do the lips and the lips i'm going for today because it's the festive look because it's a christmas look because so i've got the christmas green going on there and i basically gonna go with a bright red lipstick yeah have you guys you guys have not seen me with the bright lipstick on oh my god I look good I think I think I thought I've given you guys the hints of what I'm gonna be using on my lips because I've got my red let me just bring the camera down I've got this red top it's very pretty I got it from pretty pretty little thing one of these is I'm going to do um get ready with me um kind of um video so that we can get dressed up together guys okay just position my camera okay so basically the lipstick that i'm using is um, rouge addiction edition and it's hot pepper yeah and it's matte finish so it's this one here don't know if you guys can see it that's what it looks like okay a rouge addition violet okay so it's really really nice okay so Oh, let's check that color out. I just love it by just putting it on. I just know it's going to look great. Okay, so I'm just going to blend that in. Oh, I really forgot something. I forgot my lip liner. Nevertheless. Why? Not really. No, it's good to have a lip liner because it helps the, the especially the lipstick to last a longer time. But I think I should be alright. Yeah. No one is gonna tell. <laughs> guys guys look at that reflection just check that reflection of this red red lipstick just check it out i'm impressed i'm excited <laughs> i really can't wait for the final look <sighs> scene to finalize everything and i'll be back okay oh before i go before i go i need to spray setting spray and then i'm going to disappear just for a few seconds to do my hair and i'll be back to show you guys the final look of my festive christmas glam tutorial <laughs> i'm excited okay so i'm just using my um Flammable, you know, setting spray by L'Oreal. So I'm gonna spray on, okay? Mm. And that is on. Feels so nice and cool, guys. So I'm gonna be back to show you guys the end look. Stay tuned. Hi guys. So this is the final look of my festive glam. Christmas look so I hope you guys like it it was very simple to create guys so 
I'm sure you guys have picked up some skills um, to implement on the 25th so definitely go for it just be brightful on that day and enjoy because after all it's festive period and you just have to love the moment and enjoy because we've been well restricted this year of any sort of activities of any enjoyment so why not that day let loose let your hair down and just enjoy okay just go with this look and trust me you're gonna really have a good time okay so guys if you like this tutorial don't forget to hit that red button where it says subscribe subscribe to my channel so you can be notified each time i upload new videos okay and share this video among your friends and like and comment and guys thank you so much for watching take care bye bye and have a merry christmas Bye.